I have a very quick, simple, easy to understand Bitcoin technical analysis for you all. So I hope that you really enjoy this video. You can learn a bit from it and I prepare you for what is to come. I do hope that you've been following my updates over on Twitter because obviously over the past few days, I have been giving you some little golden nuggets dropping for you uh, to keep you updated while we wait for this very exact YouTube video that I'm waiting now. I had to do it. I saw the comments. We need you dying. You update, please. How can I not give you that when you are so kindly? And and nicely so here we are with a bitcoin update i will go over the short trade of course that i am in as you all know and what i'm looking for next okay i've been telling you over on twitter i am looking for lower i feel that the wave is to the downside the local trend is obviously down and we got to follow along with this local trend there's no point fighting against it okay so i'll pick up right where i left off my last video for you all which was where we had this local triangle right and it was kind of simple we wanted to see the fake out of that triangle and in the end we did get a fake out we fake out to the upside which is where around i got this short trade so current entry sixty four thousand four hundred dollars okay so this is a short trade that i've not took any profits on because overall as I'm making it clear over on the Twitter, right? You know, for the past few days, I have been bearish. So Bitcoin, of course, saw the fake out of that triangle. And at the time, this tweet was a few days ago now, right? Dropping to the bigger value area low and the CCV target, of course. If you remember on this video, we had a bearish CCV target below us. And this fake out, was the short opportunity, of course, to bring us down towards that lower target. And so we saw all that come together. And, you know, there was a few different short trades to be had on the day. I actually took two shorts that day. Um, and on this short trade, yeah, now ending in pretty nice profits, guaranteed, right? And so that is why, if you remember correctly, I fully closed my long trade. If you remember back to this off of the conservative trading account, I know there's a few different things to be aware of here. On this conservative trading account, of course, I was building a long trade. In the end, I got my average entry and I exited fully, right? right at 65,400 and I know some people were thinking well actually <laughs> um you know I was building up a long trade to close it fully okay at 65,400 for source that was me off at the back of recognizing that weakness there was a plan to hold it to higher but I acted on the data that I had in the time not off the data that I had a few days prior when I started to build that long right got my average entry coming up in profits i fully closed that long trade i'm recognizing that the trend is now down i'm looking for my short trades and here we are now a few days later right short trades in the bag profits on this downwards move and i want to start to explain what i am looking at next right so I did make this clear and I also told people over on Twitter this morning, right? Of course, over in the Champions live stream, this is where I do my higher term time frame trades. I had a Champions live stream this morning. You can, of course, watch it back now over on the website. Um, where I was basically telling the Champions members, I am not going to long yet. And this is why we are in this section of the chart while I'm making the video, right? So we had just saw a little bit of a bounce off of taking out 60,000 psychological and we're starting to build our way up. And I made it very clear indeed uh, to the Champions. I was like, no, this is not a long for me. I am not going to long here. I believe the highest support is lower down in the chart. This for me is a weak support and I am expecting lower prices to come. OK, of course, this tweet was put out before this drop to the downside. You can always go and verify all the times, but put this tweet out even to help some people to make them aware. OK, and it all really stems really simply from recognizing that there is no support to be had here. This is a very weak support level. Thus, you know, expect lower prices to come on Bitcoin, of course. So just like when we had that fake out of the triangle, we come down to the CCV target. Right. But that CCV target was not a long trade for me. Did not long as we hit that target. Did not long the value area low. And I did not long them. We're not long anything else yesterday. And, and well, the same today. I've still not took a long trade here. We are they starting to come down into a little bit of support? And this is of course all backing off the backing of the of the back of simply taking out seventy thousand psychological. So as you know, uh, well this would have been Monday earlier this week, right? Where we were saying made a video of explaining while we were back here the importance of seventy thousand dollars. Okay, seventy thousand was the target. The target was obviously breached, hit, and well the rest is history. I want to show you this by the way. So this was from the Champions live stream. This was back on the 28th of 
July. Uh, you can actually see the preset order that I have here at 70,145. And I will tell you this right now. This is why I sometimes am very careful showing preset orders on stream because I had ready and waiting a short trade at the high for two Bitcoin, uh, 70,145. The high was put in at $70,136, right? So I actually had, and I have some uh, champion members showing me their crazy profits and even let me know that they they saw my order, they front run it by $10 and this is several million dollar orders. That is why I am a little bit careful because my order got front run on the short by $10 by champion members seeing the order and placing their order $10 ahead of mine. So that was, that is like, that's <laughs> why I'm a little bit careful showing orders on streams and stuff because of course people are naturally going to front run. Of course it's helpful. I'm not going to moan too much because at the end of the day, I did help champion members get into a nice short trade up at the very high. But then I need to be careful because yeah, people will start to front, right, front run my orders a little bit and then I end up <laughs> missing the trade. Uh, but hey, I helped for the greater good, I suppose, at the end of the day. So it is what it is. But yeah, really simply, this all stems off of the back of that short at $70,000, right? It wasn't too difficult. And in the end, yeah, we've made our way down. We've made our way down. It's been several opportunities. There's obviously been long trade opportunities. Remember, we hit this monthly 5% bounce, over 5% bounce to the upside. This was the major long opportunity during the downtrend. So again, there are... There are longs to be had. So you could have took a quick long off a 60K and brought it up to 61K, right? To be fair, there are definitely long trades during a downtrend. It's just for me right now, you know, like I've been telling to you, for me, I'm, I'm trading with the waves. I'm trading with the trends. You know, I'm recognizing this weakness. And for me, that just means a little bit of patience, a little bit of short and chill, <laughs> just a little bit of... Um, yeah, honestly, that's the main word that I am looking for, patience, right? Because I do believe the bigger support is now lower down, okay? So just build up the picture before I end here. What do we have going on, okay? We took out 70,000 psychological. We lost the range point of control, okay? We lost the range value area low. That is extreme weakness, my friends, okay? So just as we rejected off the value area high, we then have now lost the value area low. So instead of finding support here, you lose it. That is a big sign of weakness. And that is why I, I honestly do, you know, I would say that you will learn a lot if you actually join in and view that champion's live stream. Okay, I go very much in depth. It's, it's like a YouTube video, right? But times 100 more in depth uh, where I'm giving my best and most accurate trade analysis. So, yeah, if you really want to see that, then, of course, um, you can watch that well, a champion stream that I done this morning. I was basically explaining to my team exactly what I was looking at and, you know, why I didn't take that long. Um, and, yeah, so for me, simply put it's like a magnet the price is going to be pulled downwards to where we do have more significant levels of support right so we obviously are within this downward sloping parallel channel right now we lost the value area low we lost the middle of that channel that is now going to give us a full pull towards the downside okay so you can see very locally here we're starting to hit into a daily naked point of control but then we start to see bigger weekly levels down towards you know 57k so for me um i will give you a little golden nugget that I mentioned in the champions live stream and that is for me where you have to understand that right now we got two CME gaps okay so well currently just one locally but we will have a second CME gap that's opening tonight with the CME open so I want to just end with reminding you of this one thing be aware of the CME gap back from around the 14th 15th of July this CME gap here but what's going to actually happen tonight is we are going to gap down to form a second CME gap. So we're actually going to be in the process of filling this CME gap, but actually opening below the high of this. OK, uh, and we're going to open up simultaneously within this gap. We're also forming a new gap to the upside. OK, so that's a little bit of a golden nugget that I'll leave you with food, food for thoughts of reminding you of this CME gap and the importance of this uh, and how we're going to very much open. Well, we could even be opening up below it at this point, but we're likely to open up in the middle of this CME gap. OK, I've talked through a strategy, by the way, of how to trade that during my champions live stream of today. Uh, so, yeah, if you want to go back and watch these videos, you know, that's where I'm obviously going to give my uh, best analysis first. These are for paying members of people that are taking it very seriously. Uh, so if you would like to join the club, then, of course, you can get in this via chartchampions.com. We'll end with one final thing. And this is just of interest. I don't know how many uh, real estate fans that I do have watching my content, but 
Uh, I actually have been making, I always have been, if you follow this channel for long enough, you, you know, I pretty much take all my profits and just put it all into real estate, real estate, real estate, real estate, real estate. But I have actually been learning some, uh, you know, I don't claim to be a real estate genius. I kind of just make money trading and put it into real estate. It's as simple as that. Um, but I have noticed some really interesting facts with the diversification. Uh, I was reading through some of the comments. I had some interesting takes on this, by the way. Uh, worst investment ever, because apparently houses are going to be useless in 20 years maximum what do you think of that leave a comment down below apparently houses are, are apparently going to be useless in 20 years that would be that would be uh, very interesting if that's the case but uh, yeah i want to would like, love to know um, whether we have a uh, you know people interested in more more things outside of just trading within the the youtube community that we have here i you know i'd be happy to talk about it as well to be honest but uh, until then yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i wanted to give you an update bring you what you've asked for this is a quick analysis explaining more in depth what i've been saying over the last few days over on Twitter. Of course, if you don't follow on Twitter, you just watch the videos, you, you probably should join over here. It does give you a little bit of direction while you wait on a new video. But yeah, for now, I do believe lower prices are higher likely to come. That's why I'm not in a long trade um, on any alts or Bitcoin right now. I am looking for lower, uh, happily sat in the short trade that I'm in right now. And um, yeah, let's see if we can get this to $3,000 of profit because right now, yeah, I think uh, it's very important how the CME goes with and that's obviously just in a few hours time now so be aware of those gaps and of course the bigger support levels that we have to the downside coming up on bitcoin uh so yeah just a quick simple update for you all okay of how you can be remaining patient for the larger levels and really simply a tip that we you can be using now is just trade with the waves right trade with the trends so to speak right so the elliott waves the trend that is clearly down we're seeing a lot of weakness not only on bitcoin right but on the greater markets too and with all this weakness it's a little bit dangerous to try and run in front of a uh, steam train to the downside okay and i don't want to scare you there there of course are long trades to be had Okay, you could even like scalp along here, take it up a few hundred dollars, right? There are profits to be had with longs. You just got to be in and out. Okay, so don't get greedy with a long trade. Hold on to it too long. Okay, get a pump. It comes up into profits and you end up not taking profits looking for higher and it comes down and stops you out. No, you can get in, get out, take your profits, move on to the next trade, right? That's what I do. That's what I teach. And uh, that's how on this conservative trading account, we did get that 50th trade, 50th win. And, um, you know, just goes to show that's a long trade in a downtrend and you know you, you can turn profits it's just you got to be exactly like we teach right just in and out take your profits move on to the next trade right that for me obviously is a short and uh that's the that's the story recap of where we are here so i hope that you've enjoyed this one uh i'll give you more of an in-depth analysis on youtube um probably wednesday next week um and yeah if you want to see me tomorrow for example on a live stream we'll have a guess i got more live streams tomorrow tuesday wednesday thursday friday i got everything lined up on the uh, chart and pns website that's just chartchampions.com if that's of interest i thank you ever so much i hope my last youtube video helped you planning and talking you through the fake out of that triangle because that is how i managed to obtain this short trade okay that's where we were at 64,400 right i'm gonna look at my entry 64,400 so i told you talked you through the plan so i do hope these videos have been helped of course in this video i haven't shared so much of a plan just more talking you through psychological factors of how to look at this trend so yeah whether i'm giving setups whether i'm talking you through giving you some tips i do hope you find it useful and uh for me yeah that's all i wanted to do in this video so i hope you've enjoyed thank you ever so much and uh yeah final thoughts trade the cm well be aware then of the CME. That's going to be very, very, very important. And locally, just just be very mindful of the trend that we're in here. Okay, if we can start to trade that trend, well, that's where we can start to admit, okay, signs of strength for a reversal. But until then, pull is definitely to the downside. And I will happily remain in this short for now. Cheers, everybody. Thank you ever so much. Hope you've enjoyed. And that's me signing out. Goodbye. Cheers.